Well, hello and welcome to another episode of How Far Can It Go? A show where I take some less competitive Yu-Gi-Oh decks and see just how far up Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duo's ranked ladder I can take them. them. On today's episode, an archetype we should all aspire to be more like, because they stick to their New Year's resolutions and only get stronger with each new turn. Of course, I'm talking about Fortune Ladies. For those of you who don't know, Fortune Ladies are an archetype of spellcaster monsters, each having a different level and attribute. They all have question mark, attack and defense, and share the same effect that says, once per turn during your standby phase, increase this card's level by 1, max 12. And their attack and defense become their level times 200 in the case of Fortune Lady Light, Fire and Past, 300 for Wind and Water, and 400 for Dark, Earth and Every. And each one also has its own effect. Some of you may know them as the archetype Carly from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds was playing. And like most, if not all, anime archetypes, they got some new support a few years back, and since then they have been one of my favorite decks to play. And with that said, let's get to the deck profile. First the Fortune Ladies, starting with the three of's. I play three of Fortune Lady Light, Fortune Lady Past and Fortune Lady Water. Fortune Lady Light and Fortune Lady Past being the backbone of this deck. Fortune Lady Light's effect says, when this face-up card leaves the field by a card effect, you can special summon a Fortune Lady monster from your deck. And that also includes herself. And Fortune Lady Past was clearly made to synergize with her because her effect reads, you can target one Fortune Lady monster you control, banish any number of other spellcaster monsters from your hand, field and or graveyard, and if you do, increase or reduce that monster's level by the number of banished monsters. The effect lasts until the end of the turn and it's the only Fortune Lady monster with a hard once per turn effect. So the most common play you would make with this deck is, get both Fortune Lady Light and Pass to the field, use the effect of Fortune Lady Pass to target herself, banish the Fortune Lady Light on your field, and one more spellcaster monster from your hand, field or graveyard, so she would become level 3, and then using Fortune Lady Light's effect, you would special summon Fortune Lady Water from the deck, which when she is special summoned while you control another Fortune Lady monster will draw you 2 cards. And then since Fortune Lady passed as a tuner, you would go into their level 7 synchro Fortune Lady Avery. For the other Fortune Ladies, I play one Fortune Lady Fire, who when special summoned by the effect of a Fortune Lady card, targets one monster your opponent controls, destroys it and burns your opponent for that monster's attack. Next is Fortune Lady Wind, who when normal summoned, can destroy spell and trap cards your opponent controls equal to the number of Fortune Lady monsters you control. But it's quite a situational effect, because she doesn't destroy cards up to the number of Fortune Ladies you control, but exactly equal to the number of them. And she also counts herself into that, so you have to take that into account. Next is Fortune Lady Dark, whose effect says, when your Fortune Lady monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can target one Fortune Lady monster in your graveyard and special summon it. It's pretty easy to meet the conditions of this effect, and in enable swarming and even draw power if you revive Fortune Lady Water. Only problem is getting her on the field since she's a level 5 monster, but there are ways around it. And finally one Fortune Lady Earth, which burns your opponent for 400 damage when her level is increased. And rounding up the monster lineup is 3 effect veilers. You can use them to disrupt your opponent's plays on his or her turn, and since it's also a spellcaster, you can also banish it for Fortune Lady Past's effect. For the spells I'm on 1 Monster Reborn, 1 Terraforming, 2 Fortune's Future, which returns one of your banished Fortune Lady monsters to the graveyard and draws 2 cards. Then I play a small spellbook package, consisting of 2 spellbook of secrets and 2 spellbook of knowledge, which also synergizes well with Fortune Lady Light because you can tribute her for Spellbook of Knowledge, draw 2 cards and then special summon a Fortune Lady from the deck. Next is 3 copies of Fortune Lady Calling, which just says if you control a Fortune Lady monster, special summon a Fortune Lady monster from your deck with a different name and you can only use it once per turn. For my Floodgate of choice I'm playing 1 Secret Village of the Spellcasters, since all of my monsters are Spellcasters, and 3 copies of the film Spell Future Visions, which was made with Fortune Ladies in mind. Its effect says, each time a monster is normal summoned, target that monster and banish it. And it returns to the field during its controller's next standby phase. This only really works with Fortune Lady Light. But it's great for the Fuan de Riz matchup. Next is their continuous spell card, Fortune Vision. Its main effect is, when it is activated, you can add any Fortune Lady card from your deck to your hand. And once per turn when a monster on the field is banished, you can activate this effect. If it was a monster you controlled, 
Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. And if it was a monster your opponent controlled, you can make the next bet on damage you take zero. And I think it's obvious which effect is more useful, both for protection and for chain block in your fortune laden light. And rounding up the spells is two copies of Kong by the Grave, because hand traps destroyed this deck. And for the traps I play one fortune lady rewind, which can target any number of your fortune lady monsters that are banished with different names, special summon them to your field, but they are shuffled to the deck at the end of the turn. And finally 3 copies of Solemn Strike, for some more negation. For the extra deck I play 3 Fortune Lady Avery, a level 7 Synchro that also has the level increasing effect, and once per turn when her level is increased, you can banish one of your opponent's face up monsters, without targeting it. And also at the end of your opponent's turn, if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other spellcaster monster from your graveyard and special summon this card from the graveyard. And this effect is a hard once per turn, I love this card. It has great removal and recursion, and it fills up your banish zone with fortune ladies, so you have more targets for fortune lady rewind and fortune's future. And since fortune lady calling locks you into synchros, I play a bunch of good generic synchros I can get into. So I play one formula synchron, one Korong dragon, one black rose moonlight dragon, one boron old savage dragon, one trishula, and one baron de Fmue. For the other extra deck monsters I play the Utopia package, meaning one Utopia and one Utopia the Lightning, an Abyss Dweller, one Puzzle Mino the Drop and the Leader since all of my monsters are different levels, a Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow, and a Saryuja Scount Red. That's it for the deck and now let's see it in action. And as always I'll stop when I either reach Diamond or drop a rank. Ok, I win this one and I'm off to Gold Rank, which is where the real fun begins. Oh look, I drew full combo, if my opponent doesn't have any interruptions. And it looks like we're good. Hmm, now what to search? Oh, let's just add fortune lady light. So normal summon her. Special summon fortune lady pass with fortune lady calling. Increase pass level by banishing light and... Uh, let's go with water. I'll keep wind if I need back or removal. Ah, I love that you can chain block fortune lady light with the continuous spell. And now it's time to draw two. Ooh, great, terraforming. Now I can search secret village of the spellcasters to unlock my opponent from using spell cards. And you know what? I like drawing two so much, I'm gonna do it again. That Fortune Lady Airy doesn't have a summon animation. Get to it, Konami. Yikes, straight to battle phase. Does he have evenly matched? Guess not. Whew, that scared me for a moment. Whew, best draw in the deck. Let's go! Whew, passing again. Let's see what's he playing. Utopia, huh? Did he draw all his spells? Well, let's just finish this. And I'm off to gold rank. Well, this was the easy part. Now let's see if I can make it farther than with vampires. Or if I can even match it. Ooh, Despia, huh? Oh, you'd like to search a card, huh? Well, not today. Just please don't have Cone by the Grave. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. He's just making me pop off. How nice of him. 
get that and move the crap out of my face. And I've got some nice setup for next turn, so I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, of course he has it. Yeah, I just draw the out, bro, why not? What the fuck? Zombie Despia? Is that like a thing? Oh god. Whew, I was scared he was going for Bayon draw. Yeah, this is no problem. Oh great, another one. Not that it matters. Bye, have a great time! That's why right, you better run. Ah oh, great, is this another Elm Witch deck? Man, that's like the fifth one today. Oh great, a floodgate that means fuck home to me. Nice. And he's chaining that now? What a dumbass. Should have waited for after the standby phase. Unless he has skill drain, to which I have literally no out. Oh, looks like he doesn't. Well, say sayonara to your Elmwich then. Or maybe adios would be more appropriate. Okay, let's get one more fortune lady on the field so I can get rid of his set cards. Response, that's what I like to see. And guess we'll just pop off then. Wait a minute, he fucked up the chains. Yep, that's gonna cost ya bro. And another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. I'm only going for and I'm already facing the end. Well, not surprising considering I'm playing fortune ladies, but still. I kinda wanted it to last longer. That's what she said! <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> <sighs> God damn it.
done it. Well, I guess I'm way more this one. Or my opponent will just poop after one negate. Yes, the dream is alive. Oh, I'm gonna have to end on a field spell and a set called by the grave. Hope this guy plays Flanderies or something like that. <laughs> oh, man, you can't make this up. Yeah, my guy, sure, go ahead. Normal summon to your heart's content. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I win this and I'm off to go too, which is how far I reached with vampires. So let's do this. Ooh, yeah, with this hand, nope, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, at least I have some disruption. Ah, so far for that. Oh hey, it's vampires! Well, if anything's gonna stop me from reaching gold too, it's only appropriate that it's vampires. Yep, that's GG. But I still haven't dropped the rank, so I still have a chance to make it. Okay, this time for sure. It'd be embarrassing if I don't make it at least as far as I did with my last deck. Uh, not the greatest of hands, but it don't do. Yep, never doubted for a moment. Well, now that I've caught up with my vampire's ranking, let's see if I can surpass it. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Man, there are only strong decks up here. Well, maybe if I win the coin toss and get a good hand, but it looks like that ain't gonna happen. Well, let's at least see what I'm playing against. Okay, there's the adventure engine, that's pretty good. And of course it's Despia, so yeah, no shot I make it. Not with this hand anyway. Ugh, he's still gonna keep going. Man, just finish me off already. Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. And there you have it folks, just like with vampires, I've managed to make it to gold tier rank 2 with my fortune lady deck. But you know what? I filmed this whole thing before the new labyrinth and runic archetypes were introduced to master duel, and it's a shame I didn't get to test the deck against them. Fortunately, there is a duelist cup event going on right now, and those decks are definitely gonna see play there. So I'm gonna take my fortune lady deck to the duelist cup event, and see how far I can make it there. Wish me luck folks! Okay, my first duel in the Duelist Cup event, let's see how it'll go. Well, at least I can go first. 
Yep, this is full combo. If my opponent doesn't have Ash Blossom, or Infinite Impermanence, or Effect Veimler. And looks like he has none of that. Good, good. Nice, I can search Secret Village again. And let's see if this will work here as well. Well, I guess it will. Okay, I'm one for one now, let's keep it going. These draws will have to be good. Okay, I can work with this. Ugh, but I'm gonna have to give my opponent three draws. Well, let's see if the same strategy will work again. Huh, Fred of Lance, eh? Wait, what? The fuck is this? Oh. Well, so much for locking my opponent out of spell cards. Well, at least I can get my Fortune Lady every back now. He's down to 3,000 life points and one card in hand. Try to stop this at least. A few moments later. How long is he gonna keep going? Day two. Day three. Yep, yep, battle phase, that's it, huh? What? Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, he ran out of time! Well, a win's a win! Ah, there's the labyrinth deck. Now let's see how I do against it. I don't have the best of hands, so I'm not really hopeful. Well, this draw saves it. Is he gonna summon the Labyrinth Mommy? Yup, and of course she gets an animation, but Fortune Lady Every does not. Huh, oh, this ain't good. Well, let's just get rid of the big girl with nothing else. went as good as I expected. Maybe if I was going first it would be better. I'm sure I'll get another chance to play against it before this is done. We'll see then. Oof, this is an awkward hand. I can end on every, but that's gonna be it. Hopefully it'll be enough. Oh ho! Let's go, Red Dragon Archfiend vs Fortune Lady, Jack Atmos vs Carly rematch, let's see who takes it this time. Looks like Jack is not off to a great start, can Carly capitalize on that? Ah, 
And it looks like she can, yep. Ooh, is this Labyrinth again? If yes, the rematch came sooner than I expected. And yes, yes it is. At least they don't have the field spell this time, so maybe I can do something. Deck Devastation Wires? What does this do? Huh. Does this work on my monster since they have question mark attack points? Well, I guess I'll see. Oh man, it doesn't work! Haha, <laughs> nice! Okay, and let's go into every... Ah, come on! Well, I can at least get her back to the graveyard so I can summon her the next turn. Ooh, nice draws. Let's just set this and I hope I survive another turn. Okay, time to bring back my boss monster. And my opponent doesn't have any back row. Hehe, <laughs> nice. out okay that one was bad and let's hope this secret village mock will be enough oh look more despia <laughs> yeah no not letting you search Yeah, not so tough now when you can't use your spells, eh? Man, I love dunking on Despia. Somehow beating other decks doesn't bring me as much joy as beating Despia. Oh look, another on Uber I can use effect when we're on. Ah, feels so good. I love it when they end their turn after I negate their on Uber. Ooh, that's a nice top deck. Yeah, sure, negate every, I don't care, I have everything I need. Hmm, let's see... Fortunately, the dark would be good in this situation. Yep, destroy that. Revive Fortune Lady Water, get some more good draws, hopefully. Yeah, get in for some more damage. Set up for next turn, and yep, here you go, do your worst. Expected as much. Ah, never gets old. Oh ho, finally against Runic. Hmm, 
This one searches the field spell. Yep, seems like a good idea to stop this. Hmm, they got it anyway. Well, that means they had to waste another resource for it. Wait, what? A Fable card? What's he gonna use that for? Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, that's not bad. And finish with one that gives you life points, eh? Okay, let's see if I can beat that. Ooh, that's a good draw. Okay, let's start with this. Oh fuck, I misplayed. Ah, I should have said something first. It's okay, it's okay, I can still get out of it. Yeah, just try using those spells now. But yeah, this is bad. I have no way to remove Fortune Lady in Light from the field. But at least he doesn't have a battle phase next turn. So I can maybe turn it around. Whew, not even gonna say anything. That's good, means his Fable is useless now. Okay, time to do what's called a pro gamer move. I'm going to negate my Fortune Lady Light's effect to increase her level by 1 with Solemn Strike. And yes, when this resolves, she gets to activate her other effect to special summon a Fortune Lady from the deck. And since my opponent was so kind to banish my Fortune Lady past, I'm gonna special summon another Fortune Lady Light. And then with my Fortune Lady Trap card, I can special summon my banished Fortune Lady past. And it's full combo from there. Okay, let's see him get out of this one. Hmm, it's been a while since the last time I saw a set 6 pass play. Okay, time for some cleanup. Say goodbye to your back row. Let's revive Fortune Lady Water and draw another two cards just because they can. Damn, going second, misplay hard and still beat Rooney. Nice. Ah oh, man, I make C right when I have full combo. Oh well, it's only three draws. Oof, labyrinth again. Well, at least I'm going first. A few moments later. <sighs> this is going to take a while. Three days later. Okay, time to finally get rid of that back row. Ah oh, no, I know the fucking baguska. Okay, three turns. Just have to hold on for three turns. Shouldn't be a problem. One eternity later. 
Okay, good. Now I just need to survive this turn and I can beat him on the next one. Okay, it's time to end this. Okay, let's get rid of his big monster and burn him for its attack. Let's just tribute summon Fortune Lady Earth and go straight to Baron de Fleur. Get rid of one of the back rows, hopefully it's a good one. Oh, by your grave. Yeah, I got no problem with that. Whew, okay, battle. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have to negate this, otherwise it's over. Please don't have anything else. Whew, good, no other responses. Okay, couldn't kill him after all. Let's see if he top decks anything good. Oh yeah! Whew! Whoa, that was the tensest duel in a while. Oh hell no, I don't want any time or shenanigans here. No sir. Oh great, Kaiju's as well. Man, why can't I draw anything good? I guess I'll normal summon wind so I can do something next turn. Nope. Mm, let's special summon fortune lady water and see if I can draw something good. Hey, that's not bad, because now I can revive my effect, Veimler. And it's a tuner, and with three monsters whose total levels equal nine, I can finally synchro summon Krishna, the dragon of the ice barrier. Okay, I can finally do something with these draws. Eh, of course he plays Lava Golem. Wait, why destroy it? I mean, yeah, if he leaves with B, I'll do some more damage to him next turn, but I'd only have 600 life points, so it would be easier to kill me. Oh well, time to finally get rid of this Kaiju. Wait, what? Double-edged sword? Each player takes battle damage to the monster equipped with this? Oh, so basically if I attack him now with uh, Fortune Lady Every, I lose as well. You know what? Fuck it, I'll go for it. I never had a draw, so might as well try it now. Oh, you think you'll be able to stop me? Here, have a solemn strike, good sir. I guess I'll leave it at that. I've managed to get to Duelist level 15, and since then I've just managed to get one step forward, two steps back. So I don't think I'm gonna get any further. And there you have it, this is the best I've managed to do with Fortune Ladies. And going forward I should probably add something like 1 for 1 and Harpy's Feather Duster to the deck. Don't think I'll remove anything, I'll just play a 42 card deck. And maybe put a Link Rebo in the extra deck, since I'm playing a lot of level 1s. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time, bye!